guys, it's Chookman here once again. This is my bus collection that I've started a while ago. Um, these are du these red ones are um, double deckers. They're from London. These buses, but they're a matchbox size. I was all fascinated with these buses because I thought to myself, you know, if you bought a bus like that and you decked it out to be your house, it'd be really, really fun to live in them and to actually do the build themselves. Right, so the next bus I'm just going to show you is a Greyhound bus from years ago. Um, I remember the, these buses when they were around. Remember these buses that were around in the city in Melbourne years ago? They were called the Greyhound bus. Um, the camera's not very good at uh, filming these buses, but um, yeah. And the other two buses from the 70s. Um, the people from the 70s would recognise these buses. These are 1970 model buses. These were brought out in 1970. Um, I'll turn one over and show you the bottom. You might be able to see the date on them. Oh, no, unfortunately you can't see, but they've got metal bases on them anyway. So yeah, I started collecting these buses. Um, so far that's my buses there. And it's not just um, the buses either, there's a history behind it I love. These buses were around in the 70s, real buses in real life. They take you to Adelaide, Queensland, Brisbane, Perth. You could just get on these, especially these ones here, because they have um, like toilets in the back of them and showers in some of these old Greyhound buses. And um, I love the history behind these buses. And plus, I when I was younger, I travelled all over all over Australia when I was really young, and I went into lots of buses to get to places. So they've got history behind them. I'm talking about these buses in real lives, especially these Greyhound buses here. I remember them. Alright guys, that's just a quick blog on my collectible buses. They're not everyone's cup of tea collecting them, but uh, I like to collect things that have got history behind them and a bit of a story behind them. Because then, you know, it doesn't become boring. It'd be interesting to see who actually in real life has brought these buses and uh, decked them out into their houses because there are a couple of people that have brought these old Greyhound buses out in real life. And they've probably decked them out. Alright guys, have a great day and I'll talk to you all later. The history on the old buses.